In this tutorial, we will be demonstrating the GWAS feature within Transmart. The GWAS feature is found on the GWAS tab on the top of the menu bar. The studies can be filtered using the filter browser on the left-hand side of the main display. For example, filtering based on GWAS genes or EQTL Express genes. When expanding a study, for example MAGIC, the analyses are displayed. Clicking on a specific analysis, for example MAGIC Fasting Glucose, the analysis results are displayed in a table format, with the most significant SNPs including information such as probe ID, p-value, gene name, and chromosomal position. This view can be easily exported by clicking on the Export as CSV button at the top of the table. Clicking on the QQ Plot tab will present a quantile-quantile plot of the observed versus expected distributions. This view can also be exported by clicking on the Export as PNG button above the image. To view a Manhattan plot, select Analyses of Interest, for example, the Magic Fasting Glucose, and click the Manhattan Plot link at the top submenu of the page. A modal window will appear for the user to determine a p-value cutoff, for example, 0.05. Immediately, the Guava GWAVA Java Web Start application file will download. Once successfully downloaded, click the file to open. Please note that the Guava is an application that is run outside of the browser. In the application, highlight the magic fasting glucose to include the analysis in the plot. After typing in a gene of interest, for example, TCF7L2, click the Retrieve Data button. Once the status is changed from working to success, the Guava Gene Model Selection window will populate a list of the genes of interest. Selecting on one of the genes and clicking on the colored plot will display the Manhattan plot. The plot is interactive, where hovering over a dot will display specific information about that SNP. In this window, it is also very easy to identify genes. Right-clicking on a gene, for example, TCF7L2, will automatically display the UCSC Genome Browser for further investigation. Lines of significance can be added and updated, and the image can be adjusted in order to be print-ready. This concludes the tutorial. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the Transmark Foundation via email demos at transmartfoundation.org, or review any other tutorials found on the Transmart Foundation website, www.transmartfoundation.org, and click on the Transmart Platform Tutorials link.